All right, what's good guys? Welcome back. Tuning into this video, it's another special video that um, we'll be doing. Not that many people do this type of custom. We'll be doing a Louis Vuitton uh, sneaker custom on some all white Air Force Ones. Um, I'll be giving y'all a tutorial, the supplies I use, and show y'all step by step. If you wanna try this out or if you're just here for um, entertainment, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Support me and I'm supporting y'all by showing y'all all these fire customs. So let's go ahead and get into this video I'm gonna be starting with the all-white Air Force Ones Factory style and we will be getting to The silver bullet Louis Vuitton customs Diamonds and crystals on the swoosh spikes red accents on the lace and then the air sign spikes and um crystals diamonds crystals diamond spikes and the red bottoms these are a really dope custom you can change the color of the spikes um i do another custom with black spikes and black diamonds um those are really dope as well comment down below if you want me to do that custom so y'all can watch um and learn um and here are the supplies you'll need you need some type of paintbrush a small and a big one some Angela's walk um, red bottom paint, Angela's direct, some spikes, I'm using all white. Uh, these are nine millimeter, nine by 10, nine, uh, 9 9.5 millimeter. Uh, you can get those on Amazon. I buy my own bulk nail. You need some type of glue. I'm using Gorilla Glue. Um, I like to use uh, E6000, but I couldn't find none they were out of stock so and you need some crystals or some diamonds Amazon I use four millimeter and five millimeters and then you would need I use these surgical clamper scissors um, whatever you want to call them to punch the punch holes in the shoe so you need something to punch holes in um, you can use a screwdriver, something with a really sharp tip. Um, no knife because you will split the shoe. So yeah, let me go ahead and get reset up. Let's get into this video. All right, YouTube. Now it's time to get into the dirty work. So we want to, if you're working with a small shoe, and your hand is pretty big. Want to take you're gonna to want to take the insert of the shoe out anyway, but you're going to want to uh, loosen the shoe so your hand can fit in there comfortably. I'm going to show um, on the side. So what are what I'm going to do is put this little tip and push in there until it goes through like that. Now, sometimes it rips a little crack. Most of the time, the spikes will cover that. So don't try to go so far unless you need to. And when you're doing the holes up here, you will have to put your hand through to help um, with the puncture. And if you don't, it will rip because these are close together. So I will have my hand under. Don't put it directly like where it's going so my finger is right there where this is at I want to put it to the side over here and then my other one over there so like that just nice and gentle and I will continue to do that if I can get the clampers in my hand and I will continue to do that and continue to do that it's tricky because up here you have a uh, glue under in between the leather and the canvas so you might have to punch a hole a couple times and play with it <laughs> that's what she said you might have to play with it to get it the hole through and the screw through so now I have these the sides are the easiest ones and then the corners are the hardest ones. so Probably use all of these, so I'm gonna take them out. 
So I'm gonna get the screw, go to the inside to find the hole. I should be able to see it. And then once you see it, you will push it through and push with your finger the back of the screw as far as it can go up. Take the screw, screw it on to the right and give it a little test to make sure it won't fall out. And then you'll just repeat the process until you have put all the uh, spikes into the holes of the shoe or into where you desire to do it. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna finish this up because this is um, a pretty boring part, and I will get right back to you. All right. So after you do all the spikes, the side, and then the inner, we are now going to work on the swoosh with the diamond. I like to start with the five millimeter, which are my big ones first, and um, since I've been doing a lot of these, I put glue on half of the swoosh and then I have enough speed before it dries to put them all and then I go to that but if you're not if you're new to this you want to just put a little glue in a little section and do it like that and I use my small um, crystals to fill in holes that the big crystals won't and then don't forget if you want to follow this custom to put glue here and then uh, your diamonds there and then the inside as well so show you a couple of these and I will finish it um, behind the scenes so use um, a good amount but not too puffy because too much glue will just make them look far away and uh, this is a, a clear glue So about like right there is half. Make sure you get the outside of the swoosh as well. The edge. All right, it seems like enough. And then I like to dip my uh, tweezers on some of this glue get it out the way so it can get a little sticky and then I'll just pick up my crystals from the plate without having to see I don't even have it open and then I'll just fill them in like that start off with one go to another level go to two Then do three, four, and like that. You get the idea. Just fill the swoosh however you like. Use different crystals. This is just clear, have black, and other colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and we'll get to the next step. All right, now that we have finished with the crystals and gluing those on, don't touch them until they fully dry. Now we're gonna paint the bottom gonna do um, three to four coats and you can put a, a soap protector on it and as well as a um, paint protector I use Angela's so I'm gonna show you a little bit and then I'm gonna do the rest myself so just start painting just like the shoe And I like to follow the grooves. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this and show you all the final results. Alright guys, so now that we are done with the painting, the spikes, and the diamonds, or the crystals, whatever you want to call them, whatever you prefer, 
Now it's time to show y'all the review of this Silver Bullet Louis Vuitton Custom that we have done in this tutorial today. So let's get right into it. So we got the spikes, the diamonds, crystals on the side, spikes in the red accents with the red bottoms. Oh yeah, these are fire. And this is the inside. These are some dope kicks to rock. So yeah, um, make sure y'all like this video, comment down below on if y'all will rock these, if y'all will try it or y'all will purchase them. Links in the description on where you can purchase these at. Um, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button, watch this video. Thank y'all for showing the support. And thank you for tuning in to another video today and learning how to do some Louis Vuitton custom. Spikes, red bottoms, and crystals. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. All right, I forgot to show y'all one more custom. Um, this is another Louis Vuitton inspired custom. You can pretty much add your own twist to what I showed y'all before, but I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all this one right now. So I added uh, silver spikes. So let me get that to focus. I added silver spikes and uh, a rose embroidery patch and then I do have some some uh, diamonds and crystals and then you know the red accents and red bottoms and then the inner is just normal so these are those ones add your own twist to them so yeah let me know what y'all think about these